Hey guys, it's Lisa. So I'm here at Disneyland today and I am so excited because, okay, I've been patiently waiting for the Valentine's Day foodie guide. I thought it would never come. I am devastated that we do not have a Valentine's Day foodie guide. But it did come, and I'm so excited. Disney did not forget about us. Disney did not forget about my love for Valentine's Day. So today is gonna be mainly food. I'm gonna try and get as many tasty treats that are new for February as I can. But then other than that, maybe we'll look at a little bit of merch. And you know what, maybe we'll go on a ride. Maybe two, who knows? But anyway, come along with me, let's hang out, and let's go inside of Disneyland. This is gonna be no surprise to the people that watch my videos, but I just wanted to say, in case you're wondering where I am and if you want a quiet place to hang out, the picnic area. The picnic area is honestly the best place to go. It's very chill, it's very quiet, and if you ever wanna catch me, like, you know, catch a Pokemon or something, you should probably come to this area. This is probably where I am hanging out. The monorail goes by on top. Straight ahead of us is where the trams are, and then I'll show you so you have some, like, wayfinding. Okay, there's restrooms right over here that are usually not very crowded. They're perfect. And then the entrance to Disneyland is right in front of us. It is an absolutely perfect day at Disney. I love the cloudy days, but you can see there is some bright blue sky poking out right there. But overall, it is looking very cloudy, very overcast, and I am in love with this kind of weather. Today is a perfect Disney day. I mean, it hasn't even really started yet, but I can tell you right now, it's gonna be a perfect Disney day. I just walked in and I saw this poster for Runaway Railway. Okay, look at Donald. How cute is he? We love him. But it totally reminded me. I forgot about this. I was able to secure a boarding group. I don't know how. I have no idea how. But I'm group 123 and um, they're only boarding groups 13 to 23. I'm very far away. Which one do you like better, Adventureland or Frontierland? I personally, you know, I'm an Adventureland girl, but that does not matter today because Frontierland is where a lot of the food that I want to get is, so we are going straight this way. You always have to look for the tracks in whatever land you are because the Imagineers, they put in, ooh, see? We have some horseshoes right there. There should be like wagon trails somewhere around more horse hooves, wall horseshoes. But yeah, the Imagineers put really cool things on the ground, like imprinted in all the lands, you know, like the gong tracks over in Galaxy's Edge. So always look down. There's always good stuff if you look down. Stop it. This looks so good. And I'm not typically a churro girl, but this just looks incredible. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is available at the Frontierland Churro Cart. It's only available until February 28th and it costs $6.75 and it's the strawberry cookies and cream churro. It's a strawberry and butter cookie dusted churro with vanilla buttercream drizzle and strawberry cookie topping. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to eat this. It looks so good. Okay, so my camera always gets covered in food. I know that sounds like really gross, but it's just, it's the truth, you know? Like making videos at Disneyland, it gets covered in like sugar and just there's frosting on it right now. Oh well, but anyway, okay. I just wanted to say two people stopped me on my way over to the little patio. They were like, where did you get that? So yes, it's a standout treat, right? Well, let's see if it tastes as good as it looks. And this one right here, I'm just so excited. I love strawberry things. So I have a feeling this is gonna be really good. Don't let me down. Oh yes, oh yes, this is very good. Oh my gosh, and like I said, I'm not a churro person, so it definitely is like standing out to me, and that is saying something. So it's like, it has like a nice light strawberry flavor, and the frosting, the little drizzle, it's nice and creamy, and then it has freeze-dried strawberries, which is so good. It has like a nice crisp bite to it, and they're just like, so tasty and so strawberry like and sometimes i feel like the strawberry or cherry flavor things at disney can taste like i always say this but it tastes like kids makeup okay don't ask me why i know that but this does not this is really good oh my gosh okay get this for sure get this yum this is so good i already ate the other piece which by the way i would recommend you eat it within the first 10 minutes because the last couple bites that i had from the other one they were a little bit soggy from the icing okay that's to be expected but look at those freeze-dried strawberries look at those cookie pieces so buttery so delicious and then ooh, the other thing i was going to tell you okay the frontierland churro cart did not have the sign usually they have like a little seasonal sign out that says what the specialty is they didn't have it so i had to ask and she was like yeah we have the strawberry churro so do that if you don't see the sign go ahead and ask them can you hear the mark twain 
I'm sure you can. But anyway, I was gonna say, I checked my Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway virtual queue. We still have a while. I have a feeling that won't get called until like, um, towards the end of the day. <laughs> but the other thing I wanted to show you was my nails, so let me show you. So check it out, here they are. These are my Valentine's Day nails and you know, I started off with a full other design. Well, okay, I had another design in my mind and then I realized that it was way too elaborate. And you know, I'm a novice, so I just stick to something simple. But then I also had another, so I had did a French manicure and then I put this blue chrome on top and it looked horrible. Like it made the French tips look yellow. It was so bad. <laughs> so I scratched that, I just filed it off and then I did this. You know, it's very Valentine's-y. It's very fitting for our theme today, and I'm excited. There's so many bubbles. Do you see them? I love the bubbles so much, but okay. I am walking over, ooh, more. <laughs> anyway, okay, I'm walking to the pretzel cart in Frontierland because they also have a special pretzel, and it is strawberry cheesecake or something like that. We're gonna find out, I'm excited. May I introduce you to potentially my new favorite thing? This is so exciting. So this is at the Frontierland Pretzel Cart. They also did not have the sign, just like the churro cart did not have a sign for the churro. So I just asked if they had the strawberry pretzel and they said yes. So this is the strawberry cheesecake pretzel. It's a strawberry and graham cracker dusted cream cheese pretzel and it comes with strawberry dipping sauce. And I'm so excited. But also I just wanna say that Yes, that's supposed to look like um, birds were here. It's not, it's paint. So don't be, don't be disturbed by my table. So now we are gonna test this out. Is this in fact the best cream cheese pretzel at Disneyland right now? We're gonna find out. I think there's like three different flavored ones. There's one at Jolly Holiday. There's one at Tomorrowland, which is incredible. It's a cookies and cream one. It's really good. So let's see if this strawberry one, I'm gonna dip it in the sauce. Let's see if it's better. You know, I don't think that's the best one. In fact, no, it's absolutely not the best one. Out of the three that I mentioned, the, so there's one, it's not Jolly Holiday, it's at Refreshment Corner. They have one for the Disney 100. Then they have the cookies and milk, I believe, milk and cookies one at Tomorrowland. This one, you know, the strawberry sauce overwhelms it. It really, really does. It just tastes like pureed strawberries. I mean, I love that taste and it's, it's a good intensely sweet flavor, but, it overwhelms the pretzel. When you do get a little bit of the like the cream cheese in the middle, it does taste like a strawberry cheesecake, which is delightful, but no, get the other ones. This one is just okay. I'm kind of disappointed, but at the same time, I guess I'm also relieved because, you know, you can't have too many good pretzels because then you just, that's a rule, right? No, it's not. Anyway, okay, yeah, this one is just okay. Well, they can't all be winners, you know what I mean? It just wouldn't be fair to the really good ones. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, I, you know what, I'm still gonna eat it. I'm definitely gonna finish it because I just love the cream cheese pretzels, but I'll use that strawberry sauce very sparingly because in the right amount, it truly does taste like a strawberry cheesecake and that is just divine. So yay, I mean, it's, it's an okay pretzel, but I would say, get the one at Tomorrowland. That one was so good. Like I said, I am not giving up on it. I'm gonna continue eating it. It is really delicious, but you know what I was thinking about? So over the holidays, Frontierland, the pretzel cart over there, they had a Mickey-shaped pretzel, so it didn't have the cream cheese. It was just a regular fluffy pretzel, but they put frosting and like gingerbread crumbs on top, and it was superb. And I feel like they should have done that for this like strawberry, like Valentine's thing one. They should have made it like a regular Mickey-shaped pretzel and then put some cream cheese icing and some strawberry icing and some valentine's day sprinkles that would be really good i would have really liked that and i mean i still like this one i shouldn't talk so poorly about it it's also good but that would have been a really good idea in case you were wondering my awkward little corner where i was eating it was right over here yes it looks like there were birds but trust me it's just paint okay but i was looking at big thunder this whole time and so i think that we have to go on it it's only a 30 minute wait let's hope that we get a seat in the back so it's a little bit more thrilling you know it's a little bit too slow for me when you're all the way in the front
back to where we were not too long ago. For some reason, a lot of the Valentine's Day foodie guide food is in Frontierland. So we are back over here. We're gonna go to Stage Door Cafe and they have a new funnel cake that I'm very excited for. I was able to mobile order. So I am just waiting for my mobile order. And I also wanted to add that there's two things. Okay, first at the Golden Horseshoe right now, they have a seasonal specialty. It's a sprinkle sundae and it is so good. I recommend you get it. It's very simple, but it is a plus. But then the second thing I was gonna say is that for the Valentine's Day foodie guide, a lot of the food items are only available for one weekend. So next weekend, it's like only February 10th through the 12th or something like, you know, along those lines for some of the food items. So we'll definitely have to come back because all of those items, the limited ones look so good. Look at how big this is. This is gigantic. And yes, I'm only one girl. I, you know, sometimes when I get the funnel cakes, I'm intimidated, but this is over at Stage Door Cafe. This is the chocolate strawberry funnel cake. It's a funnel cake with chocolate drizzle, brownie crumbles, diced strawberries, and whipped topping. And look at how much whipped topping there is. My favorite thing is Disneyland whipped cream, so I'm thrilled about this. The only thing that I'm sad about is that there's no ice cream, and I feel like that's what really makes a funnel cake, but I guess we're gonna have to taste it, and then we'll decide. Okay, so I have my bite, and I will say, I feel like I'm missing the ice cream. I feel like that's gonna be a big issue here, but I will add extra whipped cream to compensate. It's not bad, but it's not spectacular, and I think part of it is Whenever I eat a funnel cake, I always think that it comes down to how they cooked it, like how they fried it, because if it's extra crispy, then I don't care for it. This one is a little bit crispy. I like it when it's a little bit soft and just more moist, but I do miss the ice cream, okay? The ice cream is an integral part of any good funnel cake, and this one is just, it's okay, yeah. I wouldn't go out of your way to get this. I wish they had more strawberries, although, okay, that's the other thing. It has fresh strawberries, which I think are really good, and the brownie crumbles do taste delicious, but ice cream. This would have done better with ice cream. So I'm not eating this all by myself. I am, in fact, with other people, and the consensus is, well, actually, okay, my friend was a little bit less harsh. She said that it wasn't that bad, that the whipped cream kind of made up for the fact that the ice cream isn't there. And I think we all agreed that it could have done with some chocolate sauce, like a little chocolate drizzle would have added the moisture back in. But all around, not bad. And I do like the brownies. I thought the brownies were a nice touch. The sun is shining very beautifully, but very brightly right now. And I am grateful to a tree that's right in front of me because I'm perfectly in the shade of one tree trunk. It's kind of great, but I wanted to say, so in conclusion about that funnel cake, it was okay. I feel like, so my friends went back and forth and the consensus ended up being that it wasn't that great. You know, it was just kind of dry. It needed like chocolate syrup or something. It needed some extra moisture. I think that personally, it would have been really great if there was ice cream. Anyway, we're gonna keep moving on. I think that I'm gonna go to Downtown Disney. I'm kind of sad because the Valentine's Day foodie guide, there's like no savory items on it. So we're gonna just have to keep eating sweets. I also have a little bit of sad news to report and that's that Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway has been down so many times today. So they're currently not boarding and I have a feeling we're just not gonna get on it today. That's okay though. You know, we can always do it another day. But I'm thinking before I go to Downtown Disney, I'm gonna run through Fantasyland and we're gonna try and get another Valentine's Day treat. Onward to Red Rose Tavern and I love Fantasyland. I know we were talking about being an Adventureland girl or a Frontierland girl. Well, really, I am a Fantasyland girl for sure. Never mind, no Red Rose Tavern because the line is way too long, but I will tell you about what it is because it's really not new or anything too novel. So it's the gray stuff, but they do it up for Valentine's Day. So they decorate it in all Valentine's Day colors and then they put Valentine's Day sprinkles on it. It's very cute. And if you've never had the gray stuff, it is delicious. It is so good. It's like delicious red velvety. There's a little raspberry inside and then it's cookies and cream flavored. Perfection, it is so delightful. So. I'm sorry that the description is just gonna have to do it. I couldn't like show you, you know, but it's good. Okay, it's good. Tie your napkin round your neck, Sherry, and we provide the rest. I was walking past Snow White's wishing well, and first of all, can we just appreciate its true beauty? Look at all these flowers. I was really hoping that the little song would happen right over here while I was here, but it hasn't happened yet. But anyway, this is one of the times where I really regret not having change because 
you can make a wish. See, look, I don't know why, I mean, okay, honestly, I feel like a lot of people our age, we just don't carry cash around anymore. But anyway, yes, they collect this money at the end of the year. Well, I think it's like more than once a year, but they do donate it to charity. It's Peter. Well, hi there. Hi, Peter. Okay, we did catch the little Snow White song and I don't know if you caught this or not But you can hear Snow White's voice being projected from the top of the hill where her statue is But then you can also hear the echo coming directly out of the well So I don't know. I think that's really cute. But anyway, let me show you one other thing This is a fun little fact. You may or may not know this. So we're looking at the castle That's the wishing well and you can go up these little stairs and there is a secret Easter egg So if you look at the tree right here you can see that Peter Pan and Wendy Darling carved their initials into the tree. Isn't that so cute? I was walking out of the park, but I just wanted to show you this at the popcorn cart. So they have the Disney 100 one here. They also have the Sweethearts Night exclusive, and I don't know if it's supposed to be out. It might be a mistake, but in case you want it, it's $18.25, and of course it comes with popcorn. Okay, can you hear the music? I am confused by it, okay? So ever since they changed the Esplanade music, we get a mix of Walt Disney World music, classic Disney, a lot of different things, but a lot of Walt Disney World. And so sometimes, on occasion, I get a little bit confused by the music. Bubbles, do you see them? I see them. There, and there, and there. <laughs> Okay, I was also going to say that um, before I got distracted by the bubbles, I could also not be recognizing the songs because, you know, sometimes I'm a really bad Disney fan. It's okay though, but I, there's a lot of Walt Disney World stuff in there, okay? So it's not all me being a bad fan. So here's my tiny little sprinkles haul. I even have the sprinkles box. I have the sprinkles bag. It's a full haul of um, two cupcakes, but I'm actually really excited for these. Ooh, there's a bluster. Oh, we have to secure everything. Okay, it'll all be okay. But yes, I'm actually really excited for these, even though I have had kind of a sugar overload day, but I am thrilled. So the first one, this is the raspberry chocolate chip cupcake and layer cake. So it's chocolate chip studded Belgian dark chocolate cake topped with luscious raspberry frosting. Um, yes, please. And then the second one, this one is so cute. It's called the heartthrob red velvet. It's just the regular red velvet cake, but topped with cream cheese frosting, of course, finished with their special fancy sprinkles. This one looks really cute. I mean, come on. And then also, we're all matching. The three of us, we are Valentine's Day girls today. Remember how I said that I really love hanging out in the picnic area? Well, here I am once again. I am literally always here. Like, I am just always here. This is my element, you know? But anyway, okay. The cupcakes I am so excited for, but I'm gonna start off with the raspberry one because it's more unique. And the red velvet one is so good. Like, I already know it's so good. So we're gonna start off with this guy. Wow, okay. As predicted, that is seriously so good. Oh my gosh, it's super chocolatey and there's little bits of chocolate chunks in it. Like they said, it's like chocolate chips like studded inside. And then the raspberry frosting is really good. It's like kind of jammy and like a raspberry liqueur flavor, like very rich, but also light at the same time. And it doesn't overwhelm the chocolate. Actually, the chocolate is like the top note here. Really good, I am thrilled. I'm actually really impressed, that's really good. <laughs> And now we are moving on to the red velvet and I'm so excited for this also just because I know it's good. Like the Sprinkles red velvet cupcakes are a classic for a reason. They are phenomenal. So I'll give it a little bite. Wow, 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 that is so good. Oh my gosh, I might actually even like it more than the raspberry one just because, you know, if something is a classic, there's a reason why. It's because it is outstandingly good. And I will say it's like, the perfect amount of frosting. I know that everyone's a little bit like calibrated in a different way. Like how much frosting you like or how much cake you like, the ratio, it matters, you know? But 
This one to me is so good and the cream cheese frosting is out of this world. It is out of this world and then the cake itself is nice and moist and what I think is spectacular about this one, it's the sprinkles. They add a nice crunch. I know, it's they usually are just there for decoration but here they actually give it a nice crunch so I'm in love. This is actually one of the best things I've had all day. Yeah, it's okay, these are really good. <laughs> These are definitely the two top things I ate today. They're so good, and yes, I know not everyone wants to get sprinkles because it's not truly a Disney Disney food, you know? You can get it outside of Disney, but I'm telling you, these were delicious, and sprinkles always has like seasonal flavors, and they're all so good all the time. We are going to California Adventure now because I really want to find the Oswald Candy Apple. It's a seasonal specialty, so it's part of the Valentine's Day foodie guide, and I love Oswald. Like, I love him, and if there's a candy apple, there's like two of my favorite things. I love candy apples, and I love Oswald. We must find it. The other reason why I came inside of DCA is because I'm meeting up with friends. There's a Pokemon Go competition, uh, something along those lines, meet up. I'm not sure. I'm not a Pokemon Go person, even though I do love Pokemon. Did I just hear the trolley? Is it going by? No, it's not. <laughs> but anyway, I am gonna find them, and then also we're gonna find that apple. Wait, I am cracking up right now. I just found them, by the way, look at this, two little Oswalds, but look at all these phones, and look at all these Pokemon Go accoutrements. I don't know what any of it means. I can't go down that rabbit hole, but this is very exciting. May I present to you the Oswald Candy Apple? Look at those ears. They're made out of Rice Krispie treats. And I'm just, I'm so happy about this. And by the way, yes, I'm at Jolly Holiday right now. But this came all the way from Trolley Treats, so he's only available at Trolley Treats and only until the end of the month, end of February. And he is looking oh so very cute. I'm not gonna cut him open here. They don't let, well, when you go buy the candy apples from the confectioners here, they won't cut them for you. And they're a really big hassle to eat here so they're the perfect take-home treat and I'm so excited he was also very hard to get I actually wasn't the one to get him my friend got him for me and they said that they sold out like immediately so I feel very pleased and very happy although I'm very sad because I'm gonna have to eat Oswald and that makes me kind of sad <laughs> gonna do it for our wonderful little food day it did end up being a fully Valentine's Day themed day and I didn't mean for it to be but it ended up being that way and honestly all the food was really fantastic there were some like better food choices than others but all around just a really nice day and I can't believe that I got that Oswald apple it was really hard to get my hands on and I feel really really lucky that I was able to get one so yes I'm gonna try him at home but I can already tell you he's gonna be great because I love Oswald and I love the candy apples here and and these have two giant Rice Krispie treats on it, so like, it's gonna be good, you know? And, ooh, also, okay, speaking of, so I was gonna say I didn't look at merch, but I, I was also gonna say I didn't get on a ride, but I did, but I did not get on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, and that's because I got a notification on my app that was like, mm, sorry, we are not getting to your group number. It's, we're too full. <laughs> so that's too bad, but you know what? We'll get on it another time. That's totally okay. But all around, yes, I had so much fun. I hope you guys had fun coming along with me too. And yeah, it was really nice to end the night with Wondrous Journeys, don't you think? Even if there weren't fireworks, it still gets me in all the feels and it's so, so good. So we'll have to come back and watch it with the fireworks, but all around a fantastic day. And I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> okay, see ya. <laughs>